What's up guys? Hey, Jared Beckstrand here, Doctor of Physical Therapy, ToneandTitan.com, coming at you today with five of the simplest tips out there to help you to live healthier, feel better, and even lose a little bit of weight. So let's get into those right now. All right, guys. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today here on Tone and Titan. I'm excited to be able to share with you a little bit of what I know about some of these health and fitness tips, some things that I've seen in my personal experience, also working with lots of clients through the years. I want to be able to share some tips with you guys that help you out. If you guys do like this, if you appreciate these tips, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button down below. Okay, let me tell you about two, two scenarios that I frequently encounter in the health and fitness world. You guys tell me if you've ever been in one of these before. Scenario one, you start a new plan be it a diet plan or a workout plan or a fitness plan, whatever, right? You start something new. You said, okay, this is the time. I'm going to crush this. I'm going to do it right now. You start it and maybe two or three weeks into it, you might not be seeing the results that you're after. You kind of start to slip in some of the things that you should be doing. And before you know it, after you know four, six, whatever, eight weeks, you're back to doing what you were before. You're off the plan. You're off the wagon. It just didn't work out. Okay. Scenario one. Scenario two is how many of you who have, have ever said the words, maybe you're on a specific diet, and how many of you has, have said the phrase, I can't wait only two more weeks and my diet's over, or you know, this is the last week of my diet, or I can't wait to eat blank when my diet is over. So there's two basically underlying themes, there's two underlying principles in each one of those things, and that principle is sustainability. Neither of those have any sustainability. Scenario one, um, you know, you're not seeing the results. All of a sudden, after a couple of weeks, you're not really doing it anymore. It wasn't a lifestyle change for you. Scenario two, it's the same way. I'm almost done with my diet. As soon as my diet's over, I'm going to jump back into what I was doing before that put me into this mess in the first place. There's no sustainability behind those two things. Guys, in order to make a change, in order to make health, fitness, weight loss, whatever you want to call it, in order to make that work, it has to be a degree of change that you can stick to for an extended period of time. Ideally, you would never stop doing those things. They would become part of who you are. So those are actually the things that I wanted to share with you guys today. Again, five just incredibly simple tips, simple lifestyle changes that don't take a ton of time, they don't take a ton of effort, they don't take a ton of work. You can start to live a little healthier, you can start to feel a little better, and believe it or not, you guys, this is an incredibly effective weight loss program too. Whenever I work with clients, this, these five things that I'm gonna share with you are always the things that we start with. These are always the things that actually yield some pretty amazing results. Okay, let me share them with you. Let's get into it. All right, tip number one, give up refined sugar. You guys, this is a tough one because it's in everything. Basically, it's in all of your foods so that it tastes better, so that you eat more, so that you buy more. That's the whole premise behind adding so much sugar to our food. Did you know that the average woman only needs 20 grams of sugar per day? That's actually the recommended daily amount. Average males, we get a little bit more. We get 25 grams of sugar a day, you guys. I mean, there's like 20, there's more than 25 grams of sugar, even in like sodas and cakes and cookies and all these things that we eat on a daily basis. Our sugar intake has just gone crazy. And the thing is, when you eat sugar, if your body doesn't burn it off, it's going to actually store that extra sugar in your body as fat. And so the easiest thing that you can do first and foremost is give up sugar. I want you to go to your pantry. I want you to open your pantry. I want you to grab your cookies, your cakes, your brownies, anything in there that has some of that refined sugar, those those no-no foods, you guys, those foods that you should not be eating, go ahead and chuck them in the garbage. You don't need them. Okay, here's the thing. After you throw them away, after you get them out of your house, don't buy any more, you guys. That's the, that's the part right there. Don't even go down that aisle at the grocery store. Just don't even go there. Getting rid of that refined sugar, if there's none of it in your house, there's none of it in your diet. It's just as simple as that, you guys. It's just gonna take a little bit of dedication, a little bit of willpower. Step number one, we're gonna give up refined sugar and we're not going to get around that. We're gonna eliminate that temptation. Get it out of your house and don't bring it back into your house. Tip number two, don't drink your calories. You guys, this means, and it's a hard one, I know, I'm gonna have you give up soda, including diet soda and alcoholic beverages. 
Here's the thing, those calories are mindless. There's no sustenance to them, There's, they're liquid. They don't elicit what we'd call a, a stomach stretch reflex. When your stomach stretches, that's what tells your brain it's full. If your stomach never stretches, i.e. just drinking liquids, you're never gonna get that satiety response in your brain. Your brain's never gonna say I'm full. That's why you can drink, I mean what, 12, 36? 64 ounces of soda, you guys, it's brainless. And so what I need you to do is give up your your sugary drinks, your soda, including diet soda, and your alcoholic beverages. Did you know that an average 12 ounce can of soda has 120 to 150 calories in it? It's crazy. The thing is, nobody just drinks 12 ounces of soda. That same 12 ounce can of soda has up to 40 grams of sugar in it, you guys. That's twice the daily allotment in a 12 ounce can. It's incredible how much sugar, how many calories they're packing into that drink, and really, you're getting no return on that investment. You're Well, <laughs> I was gonna say you're not getting any energy. Not entirely true. You kind of get the sugar rush, sugar rush and then the sugar crash afterwards but there's no stretch reflex in your stomach, you guys. Just empty calories that you're drinking all day long. If you wanna get healthier, if you wanna live a little better, cut out the sugary drinks. What about diet soda, Jared? I know you guys are out there, everyone's gonna ask me, diet soda's good for me, there's no sugar in diet soda, there's no calories in diet soda. Bull crap, you guys, I'm telling you right now, you know, if you're drinking diet soda, you know you shouldn't be drinking diet soda, right? This isn't news, this isn't, this isn't a huge revelation that I'm saying right now you know that you shouldn't be drinking diet soda. It's full of chemicals, it's full of other man-made artificial uh, sweeteners and things like that that are actually even a little bit worse for you than the natural sugar. Your body has a harder time metabolizing and digesting those chemicals than it does with a natural sugar source. And so guys, diet soda is out of the question also. Soda, diet soda, alcoholic beverages. Tip number two, you guys, cut those from your diet. Tip number three, I want you guys to get 30 minutes of activity every single day. I say every day because I'm shooting for the moon. Really, it's most days of the week. Four to five days a week is ideal. Seven days a week is even better. Now, when I say activity, I don't mean that you have to put on your gym clothes and go to the gym and sweat and grind it out. I mean move your body. I mean if it's a couple of laps around the block, if it's a bike ride with your kids, if it's you know even just walking up and down the stairs for 15 minutes in the morning and then 15 minutes in the evening. 30 minutes of activity, you guys, is going to do a world of good for you. Use your muscles, use your energy. It's one of the easiest things you can do to live a little bit healthier life. Now, if you guys need some workout ideas, I've got just a ton of at-home workouts on my YouTube channel right here. Go ahead and check some of those out. Also on my website, I'll link to that down below, toneandtitan.com. Easy, convenient workouts you can do right at home that are gonna get your blood flowing, you guys. Extra, or tip number three, 30 minutes of activity most days of the week. All right, tip number four is one of my favorite. Well, I mean, really, they're all my favorite. Tip number four is a good one, you guys. Stop eating after 9 p.m. This is incredibly simple. Just nine o'clock rolls around, boom. Stick the sign on the pantry, kitchen is closed. Nine o'clock p.m. The reason behind this is we've gotta give our bodies actually some time to burn off what we consumed before we dive right into bed. If I eat, you know, whatever, my big old piece of chocolate cake and then jump into bed, my body didn't have a chance to burn any of those calories. Instead of using those up, all of a sudden, boom, straight to fat, you guys. We don't want that to happen, obviously. And so the kitchen's closed at nine. Or we'll even, you know, if I'm gonna take that a step further, kitchen's closed two hours before bedtime. But if you go to bed at 10, boom, kitchen's closed at eight. If you might be like on, you know, like a night shift or graveyards or whatever, or something like that, that might be a different time. But two hours before you go to bed, stop eating. Give your body a chance to burn some of the calories that you consume. I promise you're gonna feel better and you're gonna look better also. Tip number five, you guys, I want you to get five servings of fruits and veggies every single day. Fruits and veggies, I mean nature's superfood, you guys. If we're talking about nutrients, if we're talking about natural energy sources, fruits and vegetables are the way to go. The other thing is you can eat a ton of them and there's not they're, they're not as calorically dense as some of the other foods that we're eating. Think about it, 50 calories of spinach takes up an entire, like an entire salad plate. 50 calories of a cookie is like what? A quarter, maybe a half of a cookie? You're gonna get a much bigger 
stretch reflex going in your stomach if you eat the fruits and the veggies and the things that are more natural, more nutrient dense versus some of those artificial and man-made foods. And so keep that in mind, you guys. Tip number five, five servings of fruits and veggies every single day. All right, you guys, there you have them. Five just incredibly simple tips to help you to live healthier, feel better, and even drop a little bit of weight. You guys, if you're looking for an actual program that puts all of these principles into place, we've got it available for you. I wanna tell you about uh, Tone and Titan's Total Body Transformation. It's an ebook that I wrote. It includes basically all of these principles. The whole goal is to come up with something that's sustainable, you guys, something that you can take right now and you can do a month from now and three months from now and three years from now and for the rest of your life. Small daily changes that ultimately build up to yield some in pretty incredible results. If you're interested in that, check the link down below in my description. That's gonna head, you can head over to the Total Body Transformation page. The other thing that I wanna mention with this video is we actually open up a Total Body Transformation Challenge four times a year. We are gonna help you with this. We're gonna guide you through it. There's a private Facebook group where you have access to myself as well as my wife. You have accountability. You have the support of the other group members in there that are, I mean, not only holding you accountable, but cheering you on the whole way. And ultimately, the results with this, you guys, are pretty incredible. I've had people lose five, 10, even up to 15 and 20 pounds in this 10 week time period just by abiding by these things that I've mentioned right here in this video. That's all included in the program. Now, our next Total Body Transformation Challenge is opening up here shortly. What I want you to do is check the link down in the description below. That's gonna take you, it's a different link, so I mean, you can get just the Total Body Transformation, just the ebook, or you can get participation in this challenge with us. That's gonna include the private Facebook group. It's a great way that you can even take your results just that much further. So you guys, if those sound like goals that you have, if that sounds like a good way to achieve some of those goals that you have for yourself, I hope you check those links out in the description down below. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for those likes in advance. If you haven't done so already, I'd love for you to subscribe to Tone and Titan here on YouTube. I, I love being able to share my knowledge with you guys, help you guys to become fitter, healthier versions of yourselves. That's my reward, that's what I'm all about. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to Tone and Titan. If you have any questions or comments about anything that I've covered in this video, or if you even have suggestions for future videos that you'd like to see from Tone and Titan, leave those down below and I'll read those and I'll respond to those. I, um, I try to read them all, I try to respond to as many as I can. So thank you so much you guys. We'll see you next time again here on Tone and Titan.